is part one of Japanese table manners. In this part one, you will learn the basic Japanese table manners. There are many taboos you should know about the Japanese table manners. When I lived in the States, sometimes I was a little shocked to see people doing this. I will talk about this more later, so please keep watching. Those bad manners deserve red cards. I'm going to emphasize them like this. Let's get started today's lesson. Start with the phrase before meal. We would say, Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu expresses appreciation for the person who prepares the meal and for all the food we eat. Itadaku is the original verb, which means receive, have, eat, drink in a humble form. Itadaku. Itadakimasu. Or, Itadakimasu. Sounds perky, friendly. You can put your hands together. Itadakimasu. Secondly, let's learn how to use hashi. It's hashi. Hashi. And hashi is bridge, also edge. Hashi. 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 Disposable chopsticks called waribashi is often used at Japanese restaurants. Waru means divide, split. Waru, waribashi. This is a common way to split them. The proper way is hold them horizontally and fix the lower part and break them apart. Sometimes there are splinters after break them, but don't do this. Remove them with your fingers. Now I will show you how to use hashi in an easy way. Hold the part slightly to the right of the center with your right hand, like the way when you hold a pen. And slide hashi to the base of the thumb and index finger and slide middle finger in between them. And use index and middle fingers up and down. Let's do it again. It might seem difficult, but if you practice a little bit, your muscle will remember how to do it easily. The proper rule for hashi is they must be rested on hashi oki, chopstick rest, when you don't use them. Hashi oki. Oku is the original verb, which means put, place. But if there are no hashi oki, what should we do? Hou hou ichi, method one. You can make a hashi oki with chopstick bag. Fold the chopstick bag in one third or one quarter. Then fold it in half. Any style will be okay, but I think this is the easiest one. Ho ho ni, method two. If the meal is served on a tray, you can place them on the left edge 
so that the tip of the chopstick comes out of the tray. Ho Ho San Method 3 If small plates are served, you can put them on the edge of the plate. But this way is considered a bad manner, which called Watashi Bashi. This brings us to the next chapter. 12 taboos you shouldn't do with your hashi. Taboo 1. Hotoke bashi. Hashi o gohan ni tsuki sasanai de kudasai. Don't stick chopsticks in a bowl of rice. This one often made me shocked to witness when I lived in the US. Hotoke means Buddha. Also, it refers to the deceased. This is a Buddhist custom in Japan, the rice to serve at the bedside of the deceased. Taboo ni awase bashi. Okazu o hash kara hashi ni watasanai de kudasai. Don't pass food from chopsticks to chopsticks. This one is also Buddhist custom at a funeral called Hashi Watashi. Hashi Watashi is a method of collecting bones with bamboo or wooden chopsticks after cremation of the deceased. Since Hashi leads to Hashi, bridge, it means to bridge the deceased from this world to the other world. Taboo san. Sashibashi. Don't point someone with chopsticks. And taboo yon. Odori bashi. Hashi o furi mawasanai de kudasai. Don't swing chopsticks in the air. This is the very common habit often done by women. And needless to say, do not play air drums or bang the plates or balls with your chopsticks. Taboo go neburi bashi. Hashi no saki o nametari kuaetari shinai de kudasai. Don't lick the tip of the chopsticks or hold them in your mouth. Taboo 6. Rosebashi. Hashi de sara o temae ni hiki yosenai de kudasai. Don't pull the dish toward you with chopsticks. Taboo 7. Another sashibashi. This sasu means to stick, stub. And the one I showed you earlier, taboo san, was sashibashi. Sasu to point. Hashi de tabemono o tsuki sasanai de kudasai. Don't stick food with chopsticks. Please cut half and grab it with chopsticks. Taboo hachi, utsuri bashi. Ichido totta ryori o modoshite, hoka no mono ni utsuranai de kudasai. Don't return the food you touched once and move to another. Taboo kyu, mayoi bashi. Hashi o motta mama, dore ni shiouka to mayoanai de kudasai. Don't move the chopsticks in the air, wondering what to pick. Taboo 10. Watashi bashi. Hashi o sara no mannaka ni hashi no you ni watasanai de kudasai. Don't place chopsticks in the middle of the plate like a bridge. Remember, I've showed you earlier. Place them on the edge of the plate. But for noodles like ramen, udon, soba, 
this way is acceptable. Since they are casual foods, usually hashioki is not served for those foods. Tabu juichi soroebashi. Hashi o sara nado no ue de soroenai de kudasai. Don't align the tip of chopsticks on a plate or table mat. If the tip of the chopsticks shifts up and down during the meal, use both hands to align them correctly. Tabu juni hijitsuki bashi. Hiji o tsuite tabenai de kudasai. Don't eat with your elbows on the table. This is one of the disciplines commonly learned from parents as a child. Let's move on to the next. Most of the foreign dishes are eaten with plates on the table. With exceptions, it is taboo to lift them. On the other hand, Japanese food is allowed to eat while holding a small bowl or dish. When picking up the bowl, do not grab it like this, which called Washi Tsukami. Washi is ego. Tsukamu means grab, catch, hold. Or put your finger in the bowl. Also, you can sip the soup directly from the bowl. However, do not with a large bowl or plate. But there are exceptions. For soup noodles and rice bowl, you can eat while holding them. Also, you may sip the soup directly from the bowl. Lastly, let's learn the phrase after the meal. We would say, Gochisou sama deshita. Gochisou means feast, treat. Gochisou. Gochisou sama is a phrase to express this appreciation the same way we learned in the beginning of the lesson. Itadakimasu. Before the meal. For the person who prepares the meal and for all the food we eat. Gochisou sama is the casual way. Gochisou sama or Gochisou sama sounds perky, friendly. Gochisou sama deshita is the proper way. In general, Gochisou sama deshita is more common. Gochisou sama deshita or Gochisou sama deshita. Perky, friendly. You can also put your hands together. Gochisou sama deshita. This lesson will continue to the part two, where I will show you the formal Japanese table manners with kaiseki cuisine. Kaiseki is the traditional Japanese multi-course meal. I have introduced Kaiseki cuisine in another video. So please check it out if you like to learn about Kaiseki cuisine. The link to the part 2, the formal Japanese table manners will be appeared here once it's available. So please stay tuned. If you like this lesson, please like this video and be sure to subscribe and hit to the notification bell so you will not miss my future lessons. Thank you for watching on Japanese conversation with Terumi. それでは失礼します。